All right, first thing I wanted to do is just show you film of you, because I don't know how often you get a chance to just watch yourself make people look like clowns. <laughs> 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 but my real question is when you, that's not something you can practice, but how do you perfect escapability if you're Lamar Jackson? I really don't know. Mm -hmm. Just try not to get tackled. Is there any time that you come up against a defense, you're like, oh, but they might be able to contain me? Like, give me the mentality going into every game. Every game, score points. Mm -hmm. I'm going into every game ready to score points. I don't look at nobody like, oh, they might stop me or he might be too good. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like all of us good. That's why we in the NFL. So just do my job, do my part. Have you ever looked back at film and been like, but that play? Like when you look back, you're like, that was pretty cold. There's got to be a couple touchdown plays. Probably though. like. Which one? I, I probably go back and watch some high school or something. Really? Like, yeah, I, I go back that deep. Like, I wouldn't really look at the NFL games. Probably when I'm done playing, I would, but mm -hmm. not right now. You don't have one moment that you look back and was like, okay. Nah, because I feel like I could have did something better. Really? Yeah. So would you consider yourself, like, very critical of Lamar Jackson? I am. That's why I don't really, the outside noise don't bother me, because mm -hmm. I'm already, like, ticked off at myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's the greatest criticism, I guess, because you don't really hear it, but that you've heard about your game? I don't heard all type of crazy stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I don't really know what's the craziest thing, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Probably when I was coming into the league, like, oh, trying out for running back, receiver, like, stuff like that. Yeah. I'm like, nobody told me this. Like, I never got this, but yeah. Literally my favorite quote from you, pretty good for a running back. Oh, yeah, yeah, 2019, I remember that. Mm -hmm. I remember that, yeah. Mm -hmm. that was, I didn't, I didn't even think it was going to go like viral like mm -hmm. as a quote, but it did. Well, tell everyone the history behind it, though. Yeah, like like I was saying, you know, oh, he's a running back. And then going into my second year in the league, I'm, I'm studying here and I'm like, all right. So after the game, you know, I think I threw for like 300 and some yards. Uh, I think it was like a perfect passer rating game, threw a few touchdowns. So and then coach was like, yeah, gave me the game ball at the end of the game. And that's when I pretty much I said that. I think what's so interesting about your story is it almost doesn't matter what you put on film. Yeah. People still s assume this one thing about your game. Yeah. Do I have that right? Yeah, 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 for sure. How does it feel to be in that type of a situation? It's, I mean, I'm, I'm cool with it because I, I feel like all the greats had to go through that. You know, Michael Jordan had to go through something, you know, when he was, before he was Michael Jordan, mm -hmm. that, that guy like he is, you know, LeBron had to go through something. Kobe Bryant, he wasn't getting the respect, you know, at the time. Uh, they were saying, like, he was ranked, like, 90-something player in the league. Mm -hmm. When he, you know, he top five all the time, mm -hmm. like, you know, so I feel like all the greats go through it, so it don't really bother me because I, I feel like I'm going to be great at the end of, the, end of my career, so, yeah. yeah. You know, I was blessed. I got to cover you in college. Yeah, and what I did. thought was so interesting about that story was the fact that, I mean, you were a three-star recruit. Am I right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not leaving stars. any stars off. Nah, you three star three-star recruit. Stars three. I was three. <laughs> but everyone assumed that you weren't going to play quarterback in college. Yeah, I don't know how. Probably because I'm, you know, they're not used to seeing a quarterback, like, so shifty and, like, fast at the same time. They, like, they just take away from me throwing the ball. Like, oh, yeah, he, he a good runner. He's a, good, he's a great runner. Mm -hmm. It's like, but you don't give me credit for throwing. Mm -hmm. I probably don't throw, like, seven touchdowns that game. But they, like, you, did you see that highlight of his run? Mm -hmm. So, it, like, it is what it is. You know? I love that you put on, like, an announcer voice every time you do it. Oh, he's a runner. Because <laughs> 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 I, I be seeing, I be hearing that. I'm like, oh, I don't understand these people, but it's all good. <laughs> it don't bother me. What gave you the resolve to be like, okay, even though they're all saying I got to be a running back or a DB, I'm going to play quarterback. And how did you come to find that school? Uh, Louisville. They had a sit down with my mom. Um, Shout out my moms. last Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, my last year in high school. And, you know, she wasn't having it, like, me going somewhere else and playing another position because I never played another position, probably like defense when I was in youth. But I haven't played any other positions growing up. So she was like, man, I want my son have to play. She didn't say man, but she was like, my son has to play, you know, quarterback because that's why I'm letting him go to your school. If anything, that's why I'm committed here. He told her, he promised her, like, I'm going to give him an opportunity to play quarterback, you know, but he's going to have to show me he's a quarterback, you know, mm -hmm. like a man, like the man he is. And I, like, it was a respect thing from all of us. It was a mutual respect thing, you know, from my mom, me, myself, and Coach Bobby Petrino, Lamar Thomas, you know, he the one who recruited me for Louisville. Then when I got there, it was probably like six other quarterbacks, you know, on the <laughs> roster, like before me. So it was like, oh, man, I got to work my tail off right now. Mm -hmm. And that, that's pretty much how the story began. Mm -hmm. 
So you mean we have your mom to thank for all of the great Lamar highlights that we get to watch now in the NFL? Oh yeah, no doubt. No doubt. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, we wasn't going for no other position. Cause it was, I know I could have played another position, but it was like, I'm a quarterback. I never played that. I'm not finna let you force me to play a position. I'm not, you know, I'm not wanting to do. <laughs> like I'm not used to playing, so yeah. So you go from being told you're not a quarterback to winning the NFL MVP as a quarterback. Yeah. What yeah. was that moment like for you? It was surreal. Like it was, it was it felt, it was overwhelming. It felt fake. <laughs> Like, I never watched the awards. Like, I never watched the awards. I never did. So for me to be honored and, and win an award, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. I was like the youngest to do it. Like, it was, mm -hmm. it was pretty dope. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you actually sat back and took that moment in then? Did, were yeah. you still being critical of yourself? Because it sounds like you criticized. Yeah, because we didn't go to the Super Bowl that year, so I was hurt for real. <laughs> I was like happy about it, but it was like, man, I wanted this ring this year. Like, my teammates and I, and I worked so hard. Like, we had a great team that season. And shout out to those guys, because they helped me get that award too. You know, that's, even though it's an MVP, like individualized award, but it's like it's a team award at the end of, at the, end of the day because mm -hmm. they helped me. Okay, well, you brought this up a little bit earlier. We actually have a high school highlight. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, listen, I, Lamar back in, <laughs> in Florida, we got to bring it back. Oh, yeah. You know, like yeah. I want him to see himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like so they... Just when you thought. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay you yeah. ready? You ready? You're going to have to tell me everything about this highlight. All right, for sure. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> we playing Village Academy. <laughs> Woo! And you see, you see my boy Zaire had got the crap back in the back. Play it back one play time. Play it back. Play it back. <laughs> Watch number two. Okay. Boom! You see the other one. I I'm doing that. He falling. <laughs> Dante, you know I got my line man. Got Dooley right there. That is Bryce. <laughs> Dwayne, one of those guys. But yeah, yeah, that was that was. Well, it was the spring game. That was the spring game. Yeah. So you were just doing. It didn't even matter what it was. They was they was talking trash like. We never played them before, like regular season or anything like that. We end up having to play them that, that season, regular season. Mm -hmm. We blew them out again, but they was talking trash. Like they had a pep rally, I guess, I think. Mm -hmm. They had a pep rally for our game and everything. Like we never had a spring pep rally game, I don't think. Mm -hmm. But they had a pep rally. And I'm seeing it on social media, like they got Tiger, because I, I think they the Tigers too. Mm -hmm. A bank, something. They got, they love Tiger beating our Tiger. Mm -hmm. I'm like, dang, they taking this game very seriously. Mm -hmm. Like we not, you know, we not. So how many, how many did you score on them? <laughs> I don't even remember. We had a field day with them, though. It was like 50 to 8. I remember that because mm -hmm. I, was, I was mad. Like, my whole team was mad because mm -hmm. they was talking. We don't really talk. Okay, so that's a, a PSA for everybody out there. Don't, don't make Lamar mad. Like, I mean, <laughs> don't give him like, bulletin board material. <laughs> I, I think I like it, dude. Like, really? Do you feed money, off of that? Yeah, I see it, but I ain't going to let you know I've seen it. Like, mm -hmm. Just going to play ball. Mm -hmm. What do people not know about that, that kid in high school? <laughs> from South Florida. Who what they don't know about him? Mm -hmm. Man, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just a, just a kid trying to, you know, get to the NFL. Mm -hmm. That's it. How do you think you've changed? I mean, I know you're just 25 now, so still super young in the game, yeah. but at the same time, that was a while ago. Yeah, I changed a lot dramatically. Mm -hmm. You know, I was, I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I was having fun. I was a lot, like, outgoing and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. nah, I'm, I'm really not. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you are. Don't do that. Nah, like, not really, though. Like, mm -hmm. it'd be somebody asking me, like, oh, like, really wanted me to go out. Then I'd probably go out or mm -hmm. something. But, like, me just, oh, let's go have fun. That ain't me. Mm -hmm. Back then it was, though. Like, yeah. man, I want to go out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When did you realize, and I don't know if it was in high school, but that you could play at the highest level? Like, at what point did you know? Youth football. Mm -hmm. I already told, I told my teachers I was going to the NFL. Really? Yeah, when I first started playing um, with pads on 2004, I was like, when I, when I started playing, scoring touchdowns and stuff, I still didn't understand the game really because I didn't watch it. Like, I wouldn't watch football, I just knew how to play it. Yeah. And, you know, like my teacher would like, we wrote, wrote down stuff like, what's your goal? I'm like, be an NFL player. Like, I always said that whenever, you know, my teachers will make us like write something like, what's your goals in life, what you want to be when you grow up? I said NFL football player. So mm -hmm. I pretty much already had that. That was playing A mm -hmm. and B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's one thing, but then when did it become, but I'm also going to be a top five quarterback or I'm also going to win the NFL MVP. I'm going to be elite. When did that become a goal set for you? I always want to win the, the, the highest award, like championship. Like I want to win the Super Bowl. I always wanted to win the Super Bowl. I won one youth football. I didn't win states. You know, mm -hmm. I didn't win states in high school. Like I wanted that. Mm -hmm. Nah, like, I ended up getting MVP. I wanted to win national championship in college. I got Heisman. Mm -hmm. I wanted to win, 
you know, Super Bowl, got MVP. Mm -hmm. but it's still, I want to win that Super Bowl. I still want to win that national championship, though, mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Shout out to sliding in the Heisman, never forget. Yeah, 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 that was, that was cool. That was How, cool. What is the role you think you're playing in like the way that football is changing, the way that we're watching the NFL change? Because you, you call yourself the new era eight, so I'm trying to figure out what this new era is. Yeah, new era, okay, you okay, right, you, okay, you got a right, point. You but you know, that, that name started um, in, in, in college, mm -hmm. like my uh, freshman season. My coach, like they had the jerseys in the locker. And like I'm used to having number one. Mm -hmm. like, I had seven in, in, in high school, but like my teammate, he was there before me at that school. He had number one, so I couldn't get it. Mm -hmm. So I just got I rolled with seven. But um, when I got to college, I'm like, man, I'm gonna get my number one back. Mm -hmm. Somebody had it then, like mm -hmm. uh, uh, Alfonso Carter, that's my guy. He had uh, number one already, so I couldn't get it. And then in the locker was eight. So I hit my mom up. I'm like, man, I got number eight. Like, who wears number eight? Like, Kobe had number eight, but that was like early in his career. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, man, who wrote, who wears number eight? Like, I don't like that number. And she was like, like she sent me a message with like number eight stands for new beginners. Mm -hmm. I'm like, they ain't new beginners. And I think my Instagram handle was like something else at the time. I'm like, I gotta change my Instagram name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, they were, to put that eight in there. It was like new era. Then I'm listening to new era promotions mm -hmm. like, as a kid. Like, I'm like, New Era, New Era 8. I'm like, oh, yeah. And I just changed my name to New Era 8. Mm -hmm. 2015, 2014, one of them. Well, I think that you're ushering in a new era. I think kids are playing in the backyard and pretending like they're Lamar Jackson, and they haven't always had that to look to. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I ain't never look at it like that either, though. Like, kids, like, I'm Lamar. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. How does that feel? That's dope. Like, it's, you know, that's touching, really, because I was one of them kids, like, oh, I'm Michael Vick today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm be Tom Brady. I'm with the, like, 10 touchdowns. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, that kid, you know, I got, like, 20 more years of me. You know, they keep doing that. So, mm -hmm. that's, that's cool. You know you like to have fun. Uh, okay, so dancing? I want to break down some film of you dancing. <laughs> Go ahead, <Mom. laughs> Okay. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> What's this? Oh, oh, no, that was the little... My sister had me do it. They're like, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my move right there too. I knew it was. Okay, yeah. I was being funny right there. Mm -hmm. I was doing the dance wrong. It go to, it's really the opposite way out. My left supposed to be going forward. Mm -hmm. But I just, you know. Do you dance all the time? <laughs> yeah, when I'm comfortable around my people. <laughs> that last one, what was the song? Um, I don't know. It, it was like a little beat. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't really know that song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I just felt like, you know, the Kodak Black, like, we had to bring it in. Oh, yeah, yeah no doubt. the bop. Shout Let's out go. to that boy. Look. For sure, that's my boy. For sure. <laughs> what is the, um, the one thing that you feel like you can't do? Because it's obviously not dancing. I can't. Actually, you can work on dancing. Let's I can guys. work on that. You can, can work on that. I really can dance if I wanted to uh, now. You know, I got a little rhythm with me, but. <laughs> but, but, uh, the, but the feet are backwards. <laughs> yeah, because I was, I was being funny at this time. I just I really thought the footwork would work with dancing, and it just seems like it hasn't really translated. So we're going to work on that. That's all I'm I wanted to break down a little bit of that. All right, film. see, Les, we're going to work on that. <laughs> we're going to work on the dancing then. Okay, I, I wanted to make sure that people understand that you also are big in the community. Mm -hmm. And then, so the fun day with LJ, just watching oh, the yeah. videos with you and the kids. Oh, I don't know, yeah. it warms my heart. So you're doing this in South Florida, yeah, I mean, right? Where you grew yeah, up. That's pumping, that's a cow, pumping the Cowboys part right there. Oh, so yeah. what is it like, like going back to where you grew up and sharing almost your success, like them being able to see you representation matters, Lamar. Yeah, that was um, pretty much when I was a kid, I went to David Crockett, Henry Crockett. I'm mm -hmm. a cousin there right there. Mm -hmm. um, Henry Crockett, David Crockett, the, the foundation at Blanche Ely High School, mm -hmm. they used to have, and they used to have all the kids come out from the community, probably from wherever, you know, wherever in the world. Mm -hmm. um, and they just have a fun day, skill day with, with the kids. You know, they have like celebrity football players come. Randy Moss, I actually sure. seen there one time. Mm -hmm. um, and Steven Jackson, I think, he was out there one time. And pretty much that's where I got that idea from. I'm like, man, I want to give back to my community mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. you know, so. What's it like to be that guy now that these kids can look up to? It's dope. I just want to keep being that role model for those kids, you know, to come out of my community, wherever else they're from, you mm -hmm. know, and be successful when they get older. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's pretty much what that's about. Is that what your message is? When yeah. you talk to them, what do you say? Man, I just, just always be your own man. You know, don't follow nobody. Um, you probably going to hear, you probably going to get doubt. You're probably gonna have friends, um, you know, that do stuff that you probably don't agree with, but don't get forced to do it. You know, just just do your own thing, have mm -hmm. your own lane. You know, listen to your parents, cause your your parents don't want to see you do nothing bad. Mm -hmm. You know, listen to your teachers, you know, the principals. 
they want to stay in the wrong direction. Mm -hmm. That's all. You have supreme confidence in yourself and your ability from day one. Yeah, you no knew doubt. you were going to be a quarterback. Mm -hmm. You knew you were going to be elite. You were writing down in elementary school that you were going to play yeah. in the NFL. Where do you think that comes from? How do you sustain that, despite all the criticism and everything that you've put up with over the years? Um, it's pretty much just knowing myself. Like, I know I can do this. If I can't do it, I won't like, just, I can do that. Like, just to be that guy, you know, I'm like confident in myself. You know, I, I came this far, you know, there's certain things that people can do that I can do. It's like, that's where that confidence come from. Like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna show you I can do it and just do it. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.